for uh, an airsoft game that I'm going to next weekend. Uh, that's going to be about 23 degrees for probably most of the first day. It's going to hey, be pretty cold. That that work? works out because you put on a lot of layers to stay warm and then, you know, getting hit with bullets hurts less. That's true. That is going to be nice. Unless you get hit in like the hands, that's going to be like yeah. agony. My buddy is bringing a whole ass box of uh, those like... They're not ceramic, but they're the chemical hand warmers that you would bring if you were a hunter or something like that. He apparently is not actually a hunter, and so he's bringing me half of a box of those. <laughs> so that will come in clutch, and I've certainly got a lot of layers to wear. What I'm really worried about is what's going to become of us in this <laughs> session that we're about to have. <laughs> Yeah, I believe this is the finale, right? I mean, we're we're here's the boss. Here was here he comes. Let's see if we uh, survive. And George and George is the one who's healed most recently, and he got one dice of healing. Yeah. So there you go, three points. That's it. I've got access to pretty much all of my spells. I've got an extra level three spell. Um. And I've got most most of my hit points. I have six hit points. <laughs> yeah, we, we get Em and I all thought that you um also were pretty low. Yeah, Dolgren is the only one. Eleven bonus temporary hit points from somewhere. Nice. My my inspiring speech. Everybody should have that right now. Dolgren is my only one who is above half. That's not good. <laughs> that's this. Yeah, that's not good. Um, Yilvik is almost dead, and Brunsworth is just over half. How, uh, Brunsworth is the Displacer Beast. I don't know if I've said that. I like oh, it. No. It's a funny name. Wait, you have a name for the Displacer Beast? Yeah, Brunsworth. Brunsworth? Yeah, Brunsworth the Displacer Beast. He'll be here until he dies. <laughs> Is that an amalgamation? Because I'm pretty sure Brunswick is a name, but I don't know if Brunsworth is a name or not. Or I, it, it could be. Yeah. I don't know. Can't, can't you just resummon him? Uh, so yes, hypothetically. Hypothetically, you can resummon him yeah. if you have the spell slot. I guess is your hypothetical there. Mm. Well, no, it's a, it's a, it's a feature, so I can do it again. But I also have the head of a couple other creatures in my bag that I might use. But it's probably going to be the Displacer. Wait, person. the head? You can't spawn the body from just the head. Don't you just need any bone? I just need a part of the body. <laughs> yeah, as long as you have any piece of it, I believe you can summon it. I think that's the wording on his spells. Oh. Yeah, the but rest, that's the wording and anything can fill in the blanks as long as you've got some of it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, these are just some bones. <laughs> just made of discarded <laughs> halfling bones. Some bones. It's a, but, the head of a dragon, but on the bones of a of a normal skeleton. It's yeah, gonna look like the, that was there. the the hand the werewolf of a too, because I can't raise as, as a dragon. <laughs> but it's got a neat, spooky head. All right. Well, welcome back. We have made our way through the castle and found uh our way onto the the sort of final field of of battle uh anyone yeah so on last time when we left off you had just taken care of the mirror sort of dungeon rooms uh and either yeah, either fought fought mirror versions of of members of your team or yourself, or uh, destroyed your mirror in some other form or fashion. Uh, you have exited out the final portal and onto this sort of the the final precipice, uh, overlooking much of the Shadowfell. Um, we fought that uh, the big stone golem as well. Between those. Oh yeah, you did fight the big stone golem. You did. You came out of the the mirror puzzles into the stone golem's chamber and fought that dude. Um, 
And you found yourself out here on this the fi this final precipice, like I said, overlooking uh, the, the final fall. precipice. Yeah, the um, off, not so far, not as far in the distance as you would like. <laughs> is this large behemoth of uh, 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 of an object moving closer towards you? Uh, and I get, when I say that it's it's large, it's like taking up a large portion of your like skyline. It's like it's colossal. It's, Col a it's so f exactly. It's like would a moving say, mountain. Would you say that we are in the shadow of the colossus? Definitely, you are, in fact, in its shadow. When you two. folks had been up ringing the, like, the, like, smith bells to, to open the first doors into the shadow, or to, into the, the mirror dungeons, uh, a few episodes ago, you, when you saw it, it, it was bright, it, it was bright, it was bright enough for the shadow fell like as 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 it normally is the thing was so far in the distance that it, it was mattered. bright enough for the shadow fell you could see oh, okay its shadow so you could see normally as you would normally be able to in the shadow fell uh and yes as this thing is is approach approaching uh with your fun joke it is also casting just a depth of a shadow but uh, one thing that you have noticed upon stepping out is that not only are you in its shadow, uh, you are, it is gazing upon you, uh, and it seems that wherever it's casting its gaze, it is causing a sort of sapping of colors. As you come out, you are in, this whole sort of precipice is in its, uh in its gaze and it, it it's almost like black and white out here the only thing uh <laughs> yeah it's 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 like oh. just oh no george you look pale oh no traveler you look pale oh no carlifer uh uh and all of you are well Car carlifer is kind of fine you are albino <laughs> um me too you are Carlifer said, or Lawrence said a funny thing earlier to me is that like Carlifer steps out here and like ready to fight the final boss and he looks back and the, the, the party is like <laughs> relatively injured. Uh, relatively, everyone is below half health. <laughs> yeah, everyone's in a very dangerous place. I would say the net, the net 